Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, we'll send you down to Big D, the one with the big hole in the roof, Texas Stadium in Irving. It is about set for football in the Lone Star State. Bears, Cowboys, next. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Welcome to Texas Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. Here with me in the booth, my longtime associate, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game has got a playoff atmosphere with a chance at the number one spot in the division at stake. Well, the pressure's on, Dan. You better believe it. Can secure number one in their division with a win. And with these kind of matchups, it all comes down to rhythm. Whatever team can establish an offensive and defensive rhythm earliest will come away with the win. And now let's go down to the coin toss. Heads it is. Number one, kicking off for the Cowboys. The ref gets the signal, it's and we're set. Cowboy football. Number one kicks it off to begin the game. Number 24 decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackle back to 22. The 24 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Bears will start this first play of the drive at their own 22-yard line. The receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Montgomery picked up about seven, and that will bring up second down. Montgomery played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Number 24 takes it off the toss and takes it upfield. Popped hard at the 36. First down, fair. Wow, this was a really nice play, Dan, and it worked out from so many angles. But the main thing I love is all the little details. Oh, this is the stuff our camera crew is so good at capturing every week. Great job, guys. First down, two wideouts on the field. Number 13 didn't haul that one in, and it falls Number incomplete. The Number 13 receiver. would have had some room on the Number outside on that play if only he had made the catch incomplete. Second Potential for some nice yards, but it falls player. incomplete. That will bring up second down. Number one zips it to the left sideline, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number one, made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First and ten. Ball at the 47. Montgomery gains three yards, and that brings up second down. With the tackle. Second down with the tight end right. Ball at the 44-yard line. Number one, zings it to the right side, and it's intercepted. Stop at the 42. Well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab, and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Cowboys are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 42-yard line. Carries it past the scrimmage and rambles for about five. Elliott is built like a perfect back should be. Six feet, 225. This running back comes with all the fixings. He can Second duke out five. defenders, spin out tackles, and even run some over. 
Johnson hunts him down and gets the sack way back at that. Johnson sends this offense backpedaling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some yardage there, Peter. It has to feel like they're going down and up escalator. Yeah, a good rule of thumb here is to try to move the ball in the general direction of the other team's end zone. That, that's what usually works. They force that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might... Lamb shows his coverage man the finer points of pass patterns Namely, get away from me. I have the ball to catch. He really beat his man. That was bad coverage. He's just a great receiver, though. He knew where he had to be, and he was there. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Chase down at the 29. That will bring up first down. Number four does a little last-minute razzle-dazzle here, and he gets some yards. Peter, it doesn't even seem fair when your quarterback can run like he can. And that's what makes this guy so dangerous. Good coverage, good pressure, but still, no one could corral him. Large is off right guard, and maybe picks up one on the play. Smith with the tackle. Second down, Second three eight. wide outs in the game. Number four. Life is this one hard over the first middle. Down. And Cowboy. it's complete for a first down and a hole. Number four. Throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise route. And he had to to beat his man. Couple of the best banging heads there. Quinn makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Quinn swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Number four just rifles this one and it's incomplete. Johnson played his coverage very snug, and as a result, the pass was incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number nine tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. holding. Number one, with a 23 yard field and they take the lead. Number one, a little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number one, kicks it off. Number six, fields it all the way back at the three. The 23. Number six got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the First run back. The Bears were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 23 yard line. Montgomery will get the carry on first down and gains about three yards. Second and seven. Ball at the Bears 26 yard line. <laughs> Team, grabs the fastball first over the middle bear. and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 13 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First and 10. Ball of the Bears, 41 yard line. The 49. Number one saw nothing happening downfield, so he decided to scramble on that last play, and that was not a bad decision at all. 
He had some room to work with and knew how to exploit it. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Montgomery will get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 37. It Number one improvises on this one. It's called thinking on your feet, and he does a great job of it. Yep, nice little scramble there. He saw he had no options, so he did what he had to do. Let's step it up First time. and ten. Ball at the 37. Number 24 Number grabs 24, the floater right sideline and picks up four on the play. The Number 24 plays man to man to man to man with three defenders, still makes the catch. What a player. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second down and this is the seventh play of the drive. Number one gets all first of his arm into there. this pass and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Number 85 does a great job here battling three defenders. It's definitely worth a second look. Let's watch. And he still comes up with the ball. Wow, you can't coach that. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely a great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Montgomery takes it for his fifth carry and searches for a hole. Touchdown! Montgomery changed a lot on this play, but it wasn't all him. Watch. Yep, he owes everything to those blockers, baby. They cleared the path for him. He gets the touchdown off a nice play. Fantastic athleticism. What a player. Now the point after, the and point is good. it's good. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Bears are out in front, seven to three. There's the signal, and we're ready. Santos kicks this one away. Number 20 fields the kickoff at the one. Dragged down at the 26. Number 20 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. Cowboys offense takes the field, and they will start out at their own 26-yard line. Jones sacks him way sack. back at the 15. Jones drops the quarterback deep in the backfield. Yes, and that is a huge loss of yardage, a big feather in the cap of this defense. Yeah, I can't understand why the quarterback went so far back. When you can't read the numbers on the back of your teammates' jerseys, you've gone too far. Second That'll be 20. his first sack of the oh, game. The Cowboys, 15-yard line. Down! for a first down. Number four, gets it past two defenders on this one. What a throw! It's worth a second look. That's what you call confidence. Throwing into double coverage like that, and, and what accuracy to boot. And Peter, that time, neither of those guys really had a high advantage on the other. Yeah, and sometimes when you find yourself locked in a matchup like that, it simply becomes a question of who wants the ball more. Advantage offense there. Elliott gains five on the play, and that second will bring up four. second down. Ball at the Cowboys, 50-yard line. Yeah. Elliott gets the call again, and heads out right. Finally the stop at the 39. It will be first down. Elliott sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Four, sings it to the right side, and That's it is not reeled in. 
incomplete. Was the intended Number receiver. six, shut down that pass perfectly. <laughs> you know when you're sitting back in a zone <laughs> like that, what you're trying to do is read the quarterback's eyes to get a jump on the ball. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Number 20 is the call on second down and picks up. Number 20 sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. It's caught for touchdown. a touchdown. Cowboy. Lamb has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. signal and we're set number one kicks this one away number 24 catches it back at the one breaks the knee tackled at the 22 either interesting order to the division isn't there oh you bet First and 10, Chicago. The Bears get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Montgomery gets the ball and heads up field. Montgomery, Stopped the at the carrier. 26. Number 27 with the tackle. Number one, he throws this on a rope, and he's on target for a gain of five. Cox brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 24 will get the carry on third down and shrugs off a tackle for the first. First down, Bears. First and ten. Ball at the Bears, 38 yards. Number 96 gets the sack way back at the 33. Number 96 got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good clean sack. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. <laughs> Tackle at the 45. Number one does a little last minute razzle dazzle here, and he gets some yards. Third down with the tight end right. Number one, six to the right side, and they convert on third down. Number 11, easily overcomes the First double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization First by the quarterback ten. and the receiver. Oh, Way to get open. A big game on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Montgomery gets the call on first down and picks up eight yards on the play. Number 35 made a heck of a lead block on that play. There has been some good blocking on this drive, Peter, and it's really opened up some holes for them. Well, that's what it's all about, Dan. Making room for your back. Number one throws a bullet to the flat, and it's off incomplete. Montgomery didn't have anybody on him, and yet he couldn't make the catch. A rare incompletion. And the defense side a sigh of relief. But it's only the second quarter, Dan. He has to hang tough. Third down, two yards to go. Number 24, chews up four yards, and that brings first up down first bear. down. Number 24, beat his man with a sweet little juke move back there. Keep your eyes on first the First and Keep ten. Your eyes on the pass. Ball at the 38-yard line. Down! Number one, fires this one over the middle, and it's incomplete. incomplete. With the deflection. 
Number one has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 71 yards and no touchdowns. Second and 10. Ball at the 38 yard line. Montgomery catches him in the flat and he's looking for room. Hammered down at the 29. Holding. Number 72. Offense. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat Number 72. Second down. He's all over his defender on this one. He grabs him and does not let go. The refs aren't big fans of this, and they throw the flag. Yep. Come on, Second and Don't 20. Ball at the 48-yard line. Down. Number one really puts some arm behind this one, and they can connect. Incomplete. Third down, one man down. Three to six, oh, catches it left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Number one makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Another short controlled pass for the completion. Their short game has been pretty good. First About par, yeah. They, they haven't been nickel and diming them, but they've been nickel and diming them. Montgomery takes it for his eighth carry and passes the line. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Second down from the eye. We drift open! We drift open! Back 22! Twitch! No good. Incomplete. Number three. He's on that fly ball on that last play like glue. Yeah, he knew where the pass was going and he stopped it. Incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number one. It's not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 55. Did a tremendous job on that last play, guarding against the post pattern. That pass went incomplete. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call the by the defensive coordinator. That situation. Sure was. And it will bring up fourth down. It's good. Santos puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. There's the signal, and we're ready. Santos booms a beauty here. Lamb decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks a tackle. Finally drops at the 37. Lamb grabs this one deep, then explodes out of the end zone for a terrific run. That's great field position for his team. Call the squad the extra special team. The Cowboys offense takes the field with the clock at 27. Number 48 snags the ball right sideline past the markers for a first down. Number 97 makes the play here, but not fast enough. Check it out. He pushes him out, but past the marker. <laughs> Number four throws it to the left sideline, and it's intercepted. One man to beat, pushed out there. at the 47. It's all right, man. It's all right. You Number 20 shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first. Bears offense takes the field with the clock at 16. Montgomery.
Montgomery has his number called on first down and rambles for about five. Picks up the first down. Montgomery sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. The On offense, of it was quarter. always a plus to oh avoid third God, down altogether, down. just like that. So that'll bring the first half of football to a close as the clubs head to the locker room all tied. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dave, interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Bears should be way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 30 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The boys have it off an interception. Ball at the 46 yard line. Number four, get up ahead of steam and then it was clear sailing from there. That set up an easy 24 yard field goal. The Bears answering right back. Bears behind by three. Montgomery got the carry as they pounded at him on the ground and he made the most of it. They take the lead for the first time and are now up by four. The boys later in the second, number four, would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 27 yard touchdown for the Cowboys. Cowboys leading 10 to seven. Number 86 is going to come up with a big play here in the deep ball. Have a look. That set up a 30-yard field goal. The Bears knotted up 10 all. The boys still late in the second quarter. Number 20 would come up with a big play to kill a drive because he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. And that's where we'll leave this one. Cowboys are keeping it evened up. We're tied 10 all. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Lamb has played like a man possessed. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Cowboys get the ball first to start the second half, and they will have a chance to break the deadlock. It's all tied up here. Let's get down to the field and the action. Number 20 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys stalled early last drive and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at one 20 yard line. Elliott gains three yards and that brings up second down. Watch the counter, watch the Second and seven. Ball at the Cowboys 23 yard line. Runs Bears. out at the 50. <laughs> well, those were some great instincts back there to get the interception. You can't coach that. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Bears start this one on the center logo at their 50 yard line. Montgomery chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Second Look at the numbers five. generated on the ground. That is impressive. Number 85 didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. 85 was open on the outskirts there, but just couldn't make the grab. Incomplete. 
It's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Number one fires this one over the middle, and this one is incomplete. Number 16 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 16 gets the snap and punts it away. The Cowboys let this one bounce, but it will pin them deep at the two. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Leaps oh, out at you, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. The Cowboys have turned the ball over the past two times out, but they need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own three-yard line. Elliott picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Number 34 catches it in the flat, and that will be good for a gain of eight. Ineligible receiver downfield, number 63, offense. Half the distance to the Number goal. 63 Repeat has no business down. being downfield on that one. He's supposed to stay on his side of the line, so he was an ineligible receiver. Second 10. Check goal the Cowboys, three. two yard Check line. Goal Number four throws a heater right sideline, and the catch is made at the 15. Cowboys down at the 24. Schultz answers this catch with a little move. Right there. I love to watch him work. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. First down, two wide outs. Take the handoff and rambles for about five. Second and five. Ball at the Cowboys, 29 yard line. Set, check, gray, 17. Check, gray, 17. Hut, hut. Elliot picks up a run on the Cowboy, and that will bring up first down. No dice, Passes and it falls incomplete. incomplete. Number 13. Number 13. Got open on that last play with a slant Number route, but couldn't the bring coverage. the ball in. A nice throw down the field, but they can't reel it in. That would have been a big play and a big first down. Yeah, they had it. Just didn't go their way this time. Elliott takes this one way out left. Anderson takes it upfield. field. Locked down hard at the... Elliott dusts the defense with this here. Oh, perfect spin move. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Come on, y'all. Don't let him run like that. Five on the play, and that brings up second down. Second and five. Ball at the 38 yard line. Number four makes the pass, and they can't connect. Incomplete. With the deflection. We stop them right here and right now. Ball at the 38 yard line. Number 13 makes the catch on the first sideline and they get the first on third and long. Number four gets this one past the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard to cover, Dan. He knew where he wanted the ball to go, and that's where it went. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 166 yards and one touchdown. Goes right up the middle and heads left. Tackled at the 11. Elliott played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Well, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Oh, 
double bombs at the Woo! seven. Number 22, Joe's why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. That's their third interception of the game, and Peter, the D, is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Bears are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own seven-yard line. Number one throws a bullet to the flat, and it falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball at the Bears' seven-yard line. Down the floater, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Parsons was on the ball carrier way too late. He let him get the first and plenty more before he pushed him out. That's his second tackle so far. First and ten. Ball at the Bears' 35 yard line. Montgomery picks Montgomery. up six the on the play, area. and that will bring Bill. up Bill second down. Second, second down and four wideouts in the game. Montgomery will get a carry on second down, and stiff arms his way to a first down. First Montgomery down played bear. smart and used his blockers to perfection First on that last ten. play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Right down at the 50. Second and seven. Ball at the Bears' 50 yard line. Now, switch, black 15. Switch, black 15. <laughs> Gets out of bounds at the 28. Holding, number 30, defense. The penalty is declined. First down, two receivers to the left. Ball at the 28 yard line. Number one, tips it to the left sideline, and Passes it's tipped incomplete. <clears throat> incomplete. Number 58, Number 58 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth passing <laughs> ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Montgomery has his number called on second down and gains about three yards. <laughs> Number one throws this one deep down the right sideline, and it's knocked down at the line, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. That's so three quarters the in the books now, and we're all tied. Santos with the 42-yard attempt, attempt, and they take the lead. Santos knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. Santos kicking off for the Bears. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Santos kicks it off. Lamb fields the kickoff at the three. Breaks free. The 28. Lamb was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Cowboys have had real problems turning the ball over. They'll need to buck the trend on this drive, which starts at their own 28-yard line. Schultz, first down, Cowboys. And he's got the first down and a hole. Schultz has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. What a play. A massive pickup and an obvious first down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on that baby. First down, two tight ends in the game. Elliott gains 10 yards on the play. And that brings up second down. 
Elliott played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Elliott takes it across the line and heads out right, breaks a tackle, and he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Cowboys! Made an incredible move there. Well, he saw the tackle coming, and he spins out of danger for a big game. Yeah, he spun around three times and said, there's no place like the end zone. He might have scored. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 106 yards and one touchdown. The extra it's point good. is good. the signal and we're ready number one rockets this one deep number 24 decides to take it out of the end zone breaks the tackle right down at the 25 well peter some interesting information up on the screen oh you bet well there's the drive results and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score Chicago. is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. You need to be careful here. The Bears, offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 25-yard line. Number one, throws a heater, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. 44-yard line. Montgomery carries it for the 15th time and gains about three yards. Second, Second down, six. just a single receiver on the field. Number one throws a bullet to the flat and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Number one, played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. Another short pass, and he likes that early on the field so far. Well, why not? He's had success there. Montgomery gets the call on third down and can't convert the third down. It'll be fourth down. Number 55 just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But the only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. That's his second tackle so far. Number 24 gets it snapped directly to him and converts the fourth down. First what a play. Pairs. Number 24 took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. They convert the fourth, and there's some excited faces down here on the field. Oh boy, nothing can amp up an offense like a big play. That's how you get the first. And that's what they've got, first down. Number one, tosses it deep down the left side, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Number 86 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That's the second long ball he's reeled in today. One long ball is plenty, but two is something to be stoked about. Ball at the 18-yard line. Montgomery carries this one off to the right and gains about three yards. Number 27 with the tackle. Touchdown, Bear. Come on, give it up, baby. Montgomery makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. That's his second TD reception, and obviously, the passes are coming his way when they get in the red zone. Well, he's taken on the role of scorer today, Dan, and I gotta tell you, he's filling that role nicely. Now the extra point, the extra point and point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Santos booms a beauty here. 
Number 20, Fair catches it at the one. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. That's a good work out there, All right, man. all right, yeah. The Cowboys offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at the 20 yard line. Number 20 gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and five. Ball to the Cowboys 25 yard line. Number four. Right around that side, and the reception's made at the 40. Eventually, Number four, Campbell's big time on this play, and it works. Makes it a little more exciting to watch, too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. That's his fourth deep ball connection, and he is really using his arm to its fullest so far. Boy, he is he's just on. Kelly pulls his right of center and searches for a hole. Stopped at the 49. With the tackle. Second down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Number four throws this one right side line and it incomplete. is not reeled in, Number incomplete. Was the intended Number four receiver. has found limited Quinn success in the, the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. Third down, three wide outs in the game. Gets the sack, yeah, and the that sack. takes them even farther away from the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Number 58, move this offense back a few with a great sack in the backfield. You know, that was a great call. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, how about A+, plus? two thumbs up, five stars. It's, it's a heater, all good. right sideline, and it falls. Number eight was wide open, but he can't get the pass. What a killer. They needed to convert there to try and get into field goal range, but they could not do it. Could be a key play there, Dan. They were a kick away from tying it and just couldn't get it. Bears offense takes the field, and can they capitalize? Cowboys take their first time up. Second and wow, six. those are nice stats. Ball Way to carry the ball. Dodges this one way out. Cowboys will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down with a split backfield. Montgomery is at the 25. Eventually shoved out at the seven. Montgomery must not like the D very much. Check out what he does. Stiff arms do not make good friends, Dan. Peter, those were some nifty moves to get free. In that matchup, he doesn't even need to dig down that deep to pull it off. First well, goal. as you can see, up over the 100-yard mark, just another day in the office. Montgomery carries it for the fourth straight time. Heads up field. He's in for the touchdown. Montgomery gets some major yardage off this move. Look here. Oh, unbelievable hurdle. Peter, while he's used to being in the end zone, this is a great day even for him. I love Center it. What a player. Number 44, holding. Here's the point after, the extra point and is good. it's good. Pass with me, pass with me. Come on, just rock with me, rock with me. Everybody just rock. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Santos kicks it off. Number 20 fields it all the way back at the three. Bang down at the 24. Number 20 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Cowboys start this drive of the game from well in their own territory. And the clock at 107. Number 13 falls in the pass and is past the first with daylight. 15 and touchdown. Touchdown, Cowboys. Just 
Number 13 is going to make the catch. Right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight between him and the end zone. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, he came to play today. The extra it's good. Point is good. They're setting up for the onside kick. Number one bounces it up. Wilson gathers it up at the 38. Onside kick did not travel 10 yards. Number one, kicking team. Five-yard penalty, re-kick. The Cowboys tried an onside kick on that one, but the ball didn't go far enough. The ball's not live until it travels 10 yards, and that was not a live ball. They're setting up for the onside kick. Number one, bounces it up. Number 48, gets it off the bounce at the 34. Number 48 does a beautiful job for his squad by following the kick, getting in position, and then making the grab. That's how you work on onside kick to perfection. They had to go for it, and they got it. What a fantastic play by this kicking squad. That's 100% desire, baby. I love it. Number 8 catches the bullet out left, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Number four, unfortunate to the left first side down, line, and Cowboy. the reception is made for the first down. That will stop the clock at 38. Jackson finally pushed him out of bounds, but by then the damage was done. He'd given up a ton of yards on that play. He now has five tackles in the game. First down with the tight end right. Go 27! Number 13, smashes the guard right sideline and gets the first. He's out of bounds and that will stop the clock at 33. Number 13, he's all by himself and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. Another great catch and Peter, he's been working that right side of the field with good success. Yeah, it looks like he's found a weakness and uh, he's gonna exploit it. Look Dan, great receiving yards there. That will help your fantasy team. Rifles this one to the end zone, and it's touchdown. caught for the go-ahead touchdown. Schultz has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Now the point after, and the extra point it's good. Is There's the signal, and we're ready. Number one kicks this one away. Number 24 fields the kickoff at the three. Round to a halt at the 26. Number 24 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Bears start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 26. First time out. Second down. The clock is stopped at 22. Runs out, and that will stop the clock at 15. Number one does a little last minute razzle dazzle here and he gets some yards. First down, one man back. Ball at the Bears 40 yard line. This one will fall incomplete. 
Second down. The clock is stopped at nine. Number one passes this one all the way downfield, and this one is incomplete. Third down from the shotgun. makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion and that is going to That's do it for this one the Cowboys come out on top 31 to 27 for my partner Peter O'Keefe this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time You're playing with your head down to get your face kicked into the ground. I'm a bloodhound, I'm on the sit, tracking you down. There ain't nothing you can do, cause when I fight. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Cowboys stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Jackson shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. This time at the 12, number 22 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Dub Bears, after a red zone stop, game tied, 10 all. Number one bounces this one to the outside and is gonna get some room to maneuver out there. The boys come right back. Elliott find an opening here, and he was off. A 31-yard touchdown for the Cowboys. Cowboys out in front, 17 to 13. Number one is back to throw as they want to air it out here, and this one is right on target. A 35-yard play that set up a Bear touchdown. The Bears grab the lead again and go up by three. Number four would find his target on this one. Dub Bears after a stop on fourth down. Bears winning by three. Montgomery on the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. They move ahead by 10. The boys answer right back. Number 13 was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 76 yard touchdown for the Cowboys. Cowboys back 27 to 24. Number four connected with his man on this one. An 11 yard touchdown for the Cowboys. The Cowboys take the lead and go up by four. Number one would make the first guy miss, then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. And that's where we'll leave this one. Cowboys squeaked out a win, 31 to 27. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number four was kind enough to give us a moment of his time and he's on the field with Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You really came up big. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What put you guys over the top? You gotta be honest, you know, we just came together as a team real well today. My teammates all helped me out a lot and uh, I'm playing with a great cast of characters alongside me. I'm just happy to get the W and now we've got to move on and look ahead. Chris, back to you. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.
Sports Center. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Saints walk away with a six-point victory. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. This guy won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. He'll be out for the rest of the regular season. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. This guy won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. He'll be out for the rest of the season. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. This guy will be on the sidelines for a while, and that is not good news for his club. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. The Jaguars lost this one, but will stay at number two in the AFC South. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Browns win their fifth game of the season. Hines had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Number 14 was unstoppable through the air and helped his Panthers beat the Buccaneers. Bears, Cowboys. Number 13 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. The Cowboys win this one by the final score of 31 to 27. Up in the Pacific Northwest in Seattle, the city by the sound, we had the Seahawks get squeezed out by four points. Up at Lambeau Field, we had the Packers walk away with a six-point victory. The Patriots racked up over 150 rushing yards in their win at Gillette Stadium. The Dolphins lost on the road, but will get to head home and meet the Bills. The Chiefs won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the AFC West. Redskins, Steelers. Gibson would certainly like to help his team get into the end zone. And he's just set seven yards behind the line of scrimmage now. Looks to bounce outside. Does so. Gets a block. Touchdown. Ten yards. The Redskins go on to win this by the final score of 31 to 28. The Jets drop yet another game and are really struggling on and off the field. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Eagles pick up their eighth win of the year. Number three threw for a ton of touchdowns and helped his Broncos beat the Raiders. And in our final game, we had the Texans come away victorious. So let's change things up a bit and turn to a guy that's had his eye on the college game, and that's our own Mel Kuyper Jr. He joins us now. Mel, your work never ends, I know. Believe me, I know better than anybody else. But it's never too early to start thinking about next year's draft, is it? Never too early indeed. And now that, for the most part, the regular season in college football is behind us, we can really start looking back at the guys that have impressed me the most across college campuses this year. Gregory is someone I think of right away when I think of the best prospects in college football. 5'11", 184, out of SMU. And this is a guy that's equally at home dropping back into deep coverage as he is stepping up in run support. Plus, he's physical enough to make wide receivers think twice about coming across the middle. Paul is another guy that's starting to make some noise with a terrific senior season. He was a virtual unknown coming into this year, but people are starting to project him to have a solid NFL career. I'm starting to jump on the bandwagon as well. So that'll do it for now, but you can guarantee that the big board is going to see a lot of risers and fallers between now and April. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time players. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.